Why is everywhere short staffed? I've had enough of my job. It honestly wouldn't be bad if I could just focus on my job. I am an office staff at a school bus yard. I have no control over the recruiting or hiring process. I am supposed to work eight hours a day and only drive in case of an emergency for the past three years. I've driven probably twice a week. This year I'm driving every day. This means I have to come in early and leave late. I'm now working 11-12 hour shifts. On top of that, I am only in the office 5-6 of those hours. It sucks. I want to leave but every other place I look at is also understaffed and just slammed with work. How? Why? Where did all the people go? They try to save cost by hiring fewer people. But in reality lose money on consistently having starters they need to train. Or paying overtime and having more people call in sick. Stressing out the rest and making more people quit. Everybody is running on skeleton crews to pocket as much cash as humanly possible. It's called staffing stress test. You test how much stress your staff can take before they break. Or until productivity drops below an acceptable level. The idea is to catch it at the cusp. And hire just when that balance of overstis production quality loss hits but before quitting occurs. This test also filters out non-loyal employees. So loyal employees are retainable at lower wages with fewer benefits. The managers might not call it this. And might not even realize they are using this method model. But that is what it is. Maximize productivity. Minimize labor costs. They aren't short-staffed. Short-staffed is a temporary situation of typically a few days at most caused by illness or accidents. They are understaffed a deliberate situation to squeeze the absolute most profit by forcing workers to cover multiple positions. Companies lying about their economic successes by purposely understaffing and overworking their remaining employees. The people haven't gone anywhere. Your employer is just trying to save money by squeezing more out of you. They are understaffed because they aren't actually trying to hire anyone. If you want some help you better show them that you aren't capable of handling the current workload. Start fucking some shit up or not getting it done in time. I briefly considered driving a bus but then found out that they drug test I don't even drink but I take 10 milligrams of THC CBD daily for arthritis pain. I actually take it at night before bed. No other medications work as well without any side effects. I would never decide to go back to living in pain for a job that will exploit me like a consumable commodity. I say this with sympathy and sincerity because people are catching on that it's not worth killing yourself to work too many hours for too little pay. Like you are. Your employer is abusing you and you have demonstrated that you are willing to take it. Bus drivers are extremely lacking in my area as well. I suspect it's a crap job no one wants for the little money schools are willing to pay for it. Businesses operate with a one-month mentality when they should be operating with a five-year mentality. It's a symptom of the utterly broken economy. People don't want to pay wages anymore. I completely understand your frustration. It seems like being short-staffed has become a widespread issue in various industries. It's baffling how finding a well-staffed workplace has become such a challenge. Employers noticed their payroll going down and liked it. They don't care if they stress you out and make you sick. Too many are stupid not taking into account training. Recruiting costs. They just want their quick buck. Part of it is demographics shifting. Boomers are starting to retire en masse and be eligible for Medicare drawing their pensions and 401 kilo seconds with no penalties. All the other things people are mentioning are also very true. But the reality is that a lot of these places aren't getting 100 qualified applicants for every posting the way they used to. 
And when older employees retire they just don't bother to replace them. And their work gets distributed to the people who are still there. It's already creating huge problems and it's only gonna get worse as there's fewer people entering the workforce. My daughter's school is short on bus drivers. Last year there were several times I had to pick her up or drop her off because they didn't have enough drivers. Now they have loads. So a lot of kids who are on the second load are being late to class in the morning or if they are on second load in the afternoon they get home much later. My daughter's gets out at 3 p.m. and when she is on second load in the afternoon she doesn't get home until 4.30 p.m. or later. I pick her up in the afternoons now. There's actually a lack of employees for crappy jobs that don't pay enough employers are trying to hold the line on wages but they're losing on the issue. Eventually wages will have to go up so they can hire or businesses will suffer and die. Most places don't want to pay a competitive, livable wage. From what I see in my area, there is definitely a staffing issue. However, it's usually self-induced. The good jobs with nice co-workers and great pay are well-staffed. The places that are short-staffed either have an asshole boss or co-worker that pushes everyone away. They expect one person to do three different jobs at once. Or wages are horrible. If you were job hunting and had three similar job opportunities, one paying $15, one twenty dollars and the last paying twenty four dollars which would you most likely pick places are not short staffed they are understaffed but they are understaffed because bosses don't want to pay livable wages that's why cross training is also bullshit because you are expected to do two different responsibilities but no way should you expect to get paid for two jobs lol no one wants to work for these shitty companies. With these shitty co-workers. Shitty managers for shitty pay. One answer I haven't seen here yet. There's been rumblings for the last two years that we're headed for a recession. A lot of companies are happy to run on skeleton crews so if when the recession hits they won't be on the hook to pay out for unemployment from having to fire people. A lot of people died in the last few years. Also the population has gotten older. So there are less people out there to do entry-level jobs but businesses still want to run there. Businesses like it's 1995 and high school graduate classes were twice the size of the ones today. The deal is, if you keep working it and the job is getting done, they won't look at hiring help or fixing the issue. The best thing to do is let the work slide and stop getting it done. Work your 8 hours or so a day and nothing more. It will show itself and they will need to do something about it. I work in social services and it's chronically understaffed for many reasons. 1. Companies refusing to offer higher incentive pay mostly. But in some cases these positions may require a strict schedule with zero holidays off. 2. Inadequate marketing or outreach. I can't tell you how many people just don't know about the jobs that are present in social services. It's a huge field, but it's still often overlooked. Employers are doing one of the following. A paying a shit wage for a job that deserves better pay. So people don't want to work there. B. Purposely not hiring people in an attempt to save money on payroll. See all of the above. Profit. It's all about profit. Three main reasons one boomers retiring and not enough bodies in the next two generations to replace them. Two Trump era immigration laws limiting guest workers and three companies intentionally under hiring to save costs. So executive staff pay and shareholder returns can remain at record levels. They are trying to brainwash workers into thinking this is normal. Just like they did with trickle-down economics bullshit lies.